Hello everybody, in this video I would like to answer a question about the traditional absorption costing uh, system. Uh, here is the example, let's read it together. Star Luggage Limited was established in 1990 and produces a variety of suitcases and a cap and bag for high street stores. The company has an efficient manufacturing facility, consists of two production department, forming and finishing, and one service department stores. While direct product costs are easily established and recorded, overhead costs attributable are more difficult to assert. Currently, the company uses a traditional absorption costing system to assign overhead to its products. The cost information for the month of August is shown below. Uh, allocated costs, indirect cost, this is the total, this is the first cost center, the second cost center, both of them production cost center and then stores. The overhead cost requiring apportionment, we have power, equipment depreciation, factory building repairs, factory rent. And here, this is the apportionment basis, so it's given, you don't need to think about it. And this is the, the cost per each item. Then, details relating to the company activity for the month of August have also been provided. Here is the total, forming, finishing, stores, and these are our items we have machine hours direct labor hours floor area value of stores kilowatt hours value of equipment and then direct labor the requirement apportion the production overhead costs over forming finishing and storage department this is the main task even if we didn't mention that i have to understand that i have to do this as the first step then apportion the service department costs over the production department using the value of stores as a basis then for each production department, calculate an overhead cost rate based on labor hours, which may be used to observe the production overhead cost into jobs. By the way, maybe the requirement will be just number C. Calculate the absorption or overhead rate. This is, will be enough to do A, B, and C. Number D, calculate the overhead cost of a job, which is spent 12 labor hours in the forming department and 16 hours in the finishing department. How to answer this question? First, you need to design this table. This table consists of a column for description, then each cost center. We have three cost centers. It's mentioned in the question, forming, finishing, and stores. So here, forming, finishing, stores, and then total. By the way, you can add the column of total here at the end or after the description column. So maybe before the forming. First of all, you have to search for all indirect costs that you have. Don't insert any direct cost in this table. So the first item here is indirect labor. It's a given 63, 16, 15, 31. So here, just take it as it is. The forming 16, 400, then finishing 15, 500, then 31, 750. So I will write it here. And then the total 63, 650. Just copy and paste. Then we have those indirect cost i will take each one of them so the first is power is 62800 so we have power the total is 62800 then the equipment depreciation 54 then factory building repairs 17800 and finally factory rent 36000 pound each one of those has apportionment basis so what i will do i will try to apportion those costs over forming finishing and stores cost centers how to do this based on this base for example the power will be kilowatt hour for equipment depreciation will be value of equipment for factory building repairs to be floor area for factory rent it will be floor area so let's start with the first one the power so here power is 62800 62800 so i will write it here and then search for the the base which is kilowatt hour so here we have kilowatt hour the, the usage percentage is 100 percent this is the total of course then forming 50 percent finishing 30 percent and the store is 20 percent so i will just use my calculator the total here 62,800 times 50 percent then times 30 percent then times 20 percent and the results i will add it here i have here excel sheet so i'll go to my excel sheet and try to do this so let's start with the power 
Here is the percentage that given in the question, 50%, 30%, 20%, in total 100%. So using my calculator, it's 62,800 times 50%. So this should be equal 31,400. As you see here, this cell, which is the total, 62,800 times 50 divided by 100. So here to be 31,400. The same for finishing and stores. So here it's 18,800. So again, it's 62,800 times 30 divided by 100, the total. Then stores and so on. Take those figures and go to my table and insert them there. The next one is equipment depreciation. For equipment depreciation, the total is 54. The value of equipment, this is the base that I will apportion the total cost, which is 54 over my three cost center. So here, value of equipment is 800, 400, 240, and 160. So 400 for forming, 240 for finishing, 160 for stores, and then the total is 800. So I will go to my Excel sheet here and then add those. So it's 400, 240, 160, 800. The total cost is 54. Do the same, the same function. So 54,000 pound times 400,000 pound divided by the total 800,000 pound. And then repeat this for the second one, third one, and just take a copy and paste and return back to my table and insert them. For factory building repairs, I think now you know how to do it. We have the total of 17,800 and the apportionment basis will be floor area. So floor area here, meter squared, it's 800, 300, 500, and the total is 1,600. So I will go to my Excel sheet. And of course, for you, you will go to your calculator and try to calculate this figure. So it will be 17,800 times 800 meter square meter divided by 1,600 square meter and so on. So it will be 8,900. The second one, 3,337.5, 5 5,562.5. Take it and insert it here. The next one is factory rent. It's floor area again. So no change, the same base. So I will follow the same instruction. So the total is 36,000 pound times 800 meter divided by 1,600 square meter. Get the total, take it and insert it here. Now you can get the total. So the total for forming will be all of that figure. So it will be 101. The second one will be 60,627.50. The third one will be 71,922.50. Of course, the total vertically should be equal 234, 250. Now you get the total. This is the first requirement. Apportion the production overhead cost over the forming, finishing, and the stores. The second requirement, apportion the service department, which is, we call it here, stores over the production department using the value of stores as a basis. So value of store here, what we have, value of stores, is 180. This is the total. 162 for forming and the 18 for finishing. So what I will do, this 71, just write it in negative sign, times 162,000 divided by 180. This is the value of store. So it will be equal 64,730, the same 71,922 times 18,000 pound divided by 180. So it's about 10%. Uh, so it will be 7,192. Now I can get the total, the second total, after removing the stores. So in that case, it will be 101 plus 64, so it will be 166, the same for finishing. Now I make all the indirect costs over forming and finishing. This is the requirement number two. Requirement number three is calculate the absorption rate. How to calculate the absorption rate? He mentioned here in the question that this is based on labor hours. So I need to know how many hours, how many labor hours in forming and how many labor hours in finishing. This is, should be given. So here, direct labor hours for forming is 3,780. So just write it. For the second one is 7,020. This is number of hours, direct labor hour. Then I can now get the absorption rate. The absorption rate in that case will be 166,430 divided by 3,780. This is mean 44.03.
per direct labor hours. For the second one will be 9.66 again per direct labor hours. So now I get the rate, which is the requirement number C. Let's move now to the last one. Calculate the overhead cost of a job, which is spent 12 labor hours in the forming department and 16 hours in the finishing department. Now I determine the rate per direct labor hour. The product or the job that I would like to calculate the cost, the indirect cost, it's actually spent 12 hours in the first cost center and 16 hours. I know the cost per hour, so this is very easy. So what I will do, just 44.3 times 12 hours, that this is equal 528.35. The second one, it's the cost per hour is 9.66 times 16 hours this is 154 so in total the indirect cost for this job is 682.92 this is the answer of the question try to answer it again by yourself without looking to my answer to see whether you can do it by yourself or not thank you